Hello friend, I am Naval. You are watching Code with Naval. Welcome to Java series part 67. In the last video, we saw thread group. In this video, we are going to discuss about JVM shutdown hook. So let's first understand what is the use of JVM shutdown hook. Shutdown hook used for a cleaning resource. If some code we want to execute before JVM shutdown, that code we can write inside a shutdown hook thread. Okay. Then you got a question when JVM get a shutdown. If we press a control C on a command prompt, then JVM got a shutdown. If we simply run one program, that program is running and in between that running process, we simply press a control C in a command prompt, then that program terminate and JVM got a shutdown. Then second scenario here we have, a, we simply call a system.exit method, then also JVM got a shutdown. Then third scenario here we have. A, system shutdown okay we simply press a power button and we got we simply shut down system forcefully then also jvm got shut down then last scenario here when our program normally execute completely then also jvm got shut down then i want here i want some code some thread before a jvm got shut down those thread should be executed then those thread we can simply add inside a this add shutdown hook method okay so let's open eclipse and i'll simply show practically okay i'll simply create here one new class and i'll simply give that class name part 67 okay here let's create a one thread class class demo demo 67 and this demo class extend simply extend this demo class thread class and simply override here i will simply override run method public public void run okay and here we simply write one statement okay let's remove this zero let's write here one statement i'll simply print thread name current thread name okay system dot out dot print ln and write here current current thread okay then simply here add thread dot current thread dot get name okay now here you can see we simply create a one new class and we simply extend this thread and we simply override this run method now let's create a main method in our main class and simply create here okay you can see here here first we create a runnable object okay let's create here runnable object okay. runnable okay runtime not a runnable here you can see runtime r equal to equal to simply we use a runtime dot get runtime method and this get runtime method is a okay let's add here runtime runtime dot get runtime okay we simply get instance of this runtime method now I want to I want to put I want to put this thread inside this I want to put this thread inside uh, this add shutdown hook okay how can we add r dot here we have an option add a shutdown hook okay and simply create here new this demo demo 67 okay here you can see here we simply add this thread inside of this shutdown hook okay let's run this program i'll simply run this program and you can see output here you can see this thread got executed you can see here we didn't call any start method here we simply add this thread inside this add shutdown hook okay i'll simply show one more thing i'll simply create a one more class i'll simply copy this thread class okay and paste again and change this class name demo 671 then run here one for loop okay before this line i'll simply run here one for loop or i'll simply run after this line then you got a clear idea let's for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to 10 then i plus plus okay now i want to create 10 thread for this 671 class so how can we create simply create first this thread class object inside this for loop okay then i'll simply give t1 equal to new 
okay here we simply create a this thread class object 6711 thread class object and i want to start those all 10 thread okay t1 dot start here you can see first here you can see simply we create this here two thread class first one is a demo 67 and second one is a demo 671 okay let's add here normal thread this one is a this one is a we can say hook thread hook hook thread and this one is a normal thread okay this one is a hook thread we expect this thread should be executed before jvm terminate and this thread executed as a normal execution okay so let's run this program and let's see what run as java application you can see all this thread execute first then this thread execute before a jvm terminate okay let's run again one more time every time you can see this thread changing this thread is running second third any random way but this jvm this hook thread this shutdown hook thread always running at a last moment at a before a jvm got terminate okay you can see every time we got a same output every time this hook is a executing at a last moment but this thread is a executing any random way you can see this time we got a sequentially 1 2 3 4 up to 10 if we run again then you can see 1 3 4 5 any random way okay so basically we use this this shutdown hook shutdown hook before we here we have some code some important code but that code we need to execute before jpm got shut down we need to clean activity we can use this shutdown hook for cleaning activity for connect for closing a connection we have a data bus connection we have a other uh, closing activity those we need to execute before jvm got terminated jvm got shut down we can use those thread inside this add shutdown hook okay here we understand how how to use this add a shutdown hook we will see next topic in a next video till that bye bye